Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Morning, and I've made it here for Bartana here and apparently Legolos motions me to halt. Ooh, why are you looking at the sky? Uh, hello there. Hello, Legolos. The Nazgul are flying above us, out of sight. I feel their presence. I thought I heard something high above us, Pine Claw, and I felt a shadow pass across my heart. I know this feeling. It was on the banks of the Anduin that I felled one of the flying beasts. It must have proved only an inconvenience for its terrible rider, for I know their number, and all were seen on the Pelennor. Yeah, and in fact, I encountered that very Nazgul later on. I hope you know that. I guess we chased it back to where it wanted to go. Oh well. Uh, yes, the Nazgul are flying above us, just out of sight. They watch the progress of Aragorn's host, and it moves north towards Dagorlad. Gimli and I, and you, know of these creatures, but we know also that they can be fought. Yeah, fought them once or twice. Not all of Aragorn's soldiers may believe this, of course, and I fear that such feelings of dread as the Nazgul inspire will grow in the breast of every man. Will their loyalty hold, or will the fear of Sauron's servants cause them to break ranks and flee like cowards? My father does not think highly of man, but I have seen your own courage, and it teaches me that perhaps he underestimates your people. Not all are descendants of Bjorn, but perhaps they are still filled with courage and bravery even so. All right, so therefore, they do tailor this then according to your race for that last paragraph, obviously, because... Yes, I'm a of the race of man, but it also knows the fact that I am a descendant of Bjorn at the same time. So they didn't just stick a generic race of man one. They had one specific for the Bjornings. All right, then I need to stop, talk to Bregoras. Hello there. Find the hidden supply caches and bring them back here. There's something up there. Watching us even now? I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> At Faramir's instructions, his rangers place hidden caches of supplies throughout the Thelion. It seems to me that we should retrieve these supplies, for the time of the rangers is surely coming to an end. If King Alessar finds victory or defeat at the Black Gate, there will be little need of such caches in the woodlands. Find the hidden supply caches east and north of Bar Tarnahair and bring them back here, and we will distribute these contents among King Alessar's soldiers. All right, need to find five supply caches. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll see if I could find them or if they're very well. I hope they're not all guarded by bears. That's all I've got to say about that. Please, don't have a patrol of bears all over the place. Alright, good. There's not a bear standing. Okay. That's a hidden cache. Oh, they could hide their hideouts. Very well, here are these southern rangers. But, I think the... Rangers of the North are a little bit better at hiding caches. That's all I've got to say. I mean, really. I don't think I saw a single Ranger of the North cache that was that poorly hidden. Good grief. Yeah. Are there any others of these things? Nope. All right, so then we'll go head out this way and find the next one of these. Please, no bears standing on top of them. Right, now let's see what we've got down here. Down here. Horsetail. Now, it is going to be a little pain with these flowers all over the place. 
Oh. Of course, maybe they're assuming that whoever's looking for them is completely blind and therefore has a chance of actually missing them. Like, okay, th this one at least is in a place where there is flower cover, but really, still, I still think the caches are a little bit obvious, so to speak. Now, uh, oh, wait, 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 there's one over here. And just far enough, okay, that bird may be inconveniently placed, but I don't mind killing these hawks. At least certainly a lot better than killing the bears. All right, here we go. And the last of the caches. Good. And deposit them. Okay, so apparently there is a, a cache deposit box somewhere. Please put your secret caches into this box. I'm sure that's how it goes to go, right? Put them here. Put a big sign on it with an arrow saying, yes, location for secret caches. Okay, okay. Maybe... Well, the rangers have some interesting technology here, I must say. They have this translucent supply location. All right. Hello, Gimli. What do you think about the secret cash deposits? The soldiers that came with us have become increasingly troubled. Yes, the soldiers that came with us. Ulrith of Rohan and Margur of Gondor. Well, <clears throat> they become r increasingly more in troubled as the day wore on. I have given some thought as to how I might ease their minds, but my skill is with axes, not with speechcraft. Ooh, perhaps you can do something to ease these worries. I suppose I could. Hello there! If we do not seek victory, why then must we throw our lives away? Uh, Pineclaw, I am a man of Rohan, and will do as Aomar King commands, of course, but my resolve is tested with every step towards the Black Land of Mordor. Is it true that our commanders do not hope to achieve victory through battle? Why then must we throw our lives away? Uh, should we tell him that we are the faint part of the faint maneuver? Uh, maybe not. Yes, yes, I would do anything for the mark, and gladly, but would it not be better to take these soldiers and man a strong defense at Minas Tirith? Uh, there are strongholds in Rohan, which we could last for years if need be. I fought at the Hornburg, and I am well tested in battle that we fought there. Yes, an unnatural dread seizes my heart, but there is more to this than fear, of course. I cannot believe that Eomer King or King Elessar of Gondor would so easily throw their lives away, and ours with them. Uh, how can this be their choice? Well, yeah. I guess if you don't know the little detail about why we're doing this, like a story about a cavalry commander who kept on questioning Napoleon when being ordered to charge artillery, which of course on the surface seems like the stupidest thing you could command them to do. It looked like just throwing their lives away. And effectively, Napoleon's plan was to use them as a distraction force while the artillery was being flanked by, our, by infantry. So, yeah! It looked like there was doing lies on the, the people were questioning him, but yes, there was a plan behind it, such as Aragorn's plan here. I will die for Gondor if I must, but I do not want to die needlessly. I am no coward, Pine Claw, but I have to ask if there's any wisdom in this march to Mordor. I would serve King Alessar in all things and do whatever he commands, but I fear that he does not know what he asks us to do. Yes, I thought his host was a goodly size when we marched through us Gilead, but now that we have crossed into the wild, I see that it is smaller than I thought at first. 
Yes, it could be no match for the armies of Mordor. Yes, I will die for Gondor, if I must, for Gondor to survive, but I do not want to lay down my life needlessly. If this march is folly, as I deem it to be, how can it be the king's command? How will six thousand fallen soldiers at the Black Gate of Gondor save us? Uh, the Black Gate of Mordor, of course. Save Gondor. Yes, it cannot. It can not. Ah, yeah. Well, yeah. Sounds like that we're going to have to find a solution to that little thing. And to do that, we're going to have to head off to the king and tell him what's up. Hello, your majesty. It appears some of the soldiers are starting to uh, doubt this operation. What did you learn at Bartanaher, my friend? Yeah, what'd you learn? Yes, okay. Nazgul flying above. Sapping soldiers' courage. Yes. I have noticed this swell, Pineclaw. I cannot blame these men for their hearts quail at the thought of the painful mission. I would not willingly command them to throw their lives away for the merest of chances, though I know how important that chance may be. Find soldiers here at Hanatha Noon and see if you can reassure them. All right, I, I will do my best. We will. Hello there. This is a very important mission. We are marching to our deaths, are we? Well, uh, that didn't go very well. Okay, so, perhaps I am uh, not the great inspirational leader of Gondor. Oh, oh, another one? Oh, hello there. Now, I can assure you that there is a good, great purpose to this. Yes, but we must march to the Black Land. Is there no other way? Maybe I'll go under and see if I can find anyone under there. So I don't just go after the same soldier keeping up popping up ahead constantly because surely there are some other soldiers here who need reassuring greetings we are here for a great mission to uh you're not even going to hear me at the beginning yeah hmm. ah soldiers how are we going to get them to well, we can always go back to my standby. We few, we happy few. We are we marching towards? Okay, okay. So I am not Henry V. What did you expect? All right. So let's see. Ah, here is one right here. This is a very important mission that each man must stay together. From where does your bravery spring? A good question, I guess. Well, and I think we get oh, one. Is there anyone up here? Look out here. This is the land that we must save. And together, if you hold your courage, we will be able to hold out and bring this band to be free. Yeah, I hope you are right. Well, at least that's a better sign than any of the other words I got in response. I don't think many of them were reassured. Thank you for your efforts, my friend. I have given some thought about this problem of what you do if more men prove faint of heart as we approach Mordor. It will soon be put to a test, I think. Let us move forward along the road north to the border of Dagerlad. We will establish a camp in the wood's edge and make ready for the final leg of the march to Mordor. I will speak with you at the camp of the border of Dagerlad when we arrive. Now, his little plan there is not part of the epic story. It's one of the side quests in there, and it's a rather challenging little side quest series, too. And we're not going to be doing that. 
Instead, we are going to be continuing along the epic storyline and heading to see Aragorn and see what he has to say. We have arrived at the camp of the host and... Yeah, that does not seem like the most hospitable land up ahead. Oh, well. Hello, Your Majesty. We have arrived, I guess. We are close to the Black Land of Mordor now. Yes, we are close to the Black Land. May our courage not desert us. And may our friends have the chance they need, though it cost us our lives. Oh, you are reassuring too. I want to keep Sauron's eye focused on us for as long as we can. I do not expect us to find victory through battle, but still, I want to keep Sauron's eye focused on us for as long as we can, Pineclaw. To that end, it would not do for the host to be attacked before we attain the Black Gate. I ask that you scout ahead and learn what threats may lie in wait for us as we approach the Moranon. I suggest you bring two of my rangers with you, Faron for stealth, and Meacham for his understanding of the black speech. Together, the three of you may learn much that one cannot alone. You shall find them to the south and to the east of the hillock. Ask them if they will accompany you on this mission, and bear this command in mind. You are not to get too near to the Black Gate. Very well, we shall do so. And we will do this in the next episode of Piney Plays The Bjorning.